I went and got my ACR card, picked it up today. They always say it'll take, you know, a month or two. They lie. It's three months, always, always, three months. I've gotten six of them. Never had it take less than three months. I applied for this one on 15 June of 2022. I picked it up on 13 July 2022. Two days shy of one month. What? Never gotten one this fast. It's amazing. I'm suspecting there's a lot less tourists right now. So they're just not as busy because it has to go with them in Manila, get processed. They print it. They send it back to Elo Elo. It takes time. And like I said, it always takes three months. One month. Now, if you're on a tourist, you get a new card every year. Card expires. They don't want it because it's expired. On a 13A, it's a five-year card. Somehow it counts as a renewal, not a new card. So they kept my old one. Not that it matters. They've just never done it before. Now I need to explain the difference because a lot of people are confused by the dates of 13A and an ACR. 13A, you are a permanent resident and it does not expire. There is no expiration on a 13A. You can screw it up and lose it, but it does not expire. The ACR card, however, is good for five years. So I keep hearing guys saying, oh, you have to renew your 13A every five years. No, you have to renew your ACR every five years. Big difference because the 13A is a much more complicated procedure. It's like 11,000 pesos. The ACR is very simple and it costs $50 US. And yes, they list the fee as $50 US and then they work out the exchange rate when you go in. Not sure why they do it that way. It's just an odd, everything else is in pesos. The ACR card is in dollars. Who knows? It's a pretty simple process. Every office has a different interpretation of the rules, perhaps. Here in ELO, ELO, whatever you're doing, you can go to the BI, tell them what you want, and they will give you a packet of paperwork. It has the form I need and a checklist. They always have two checklists. It's like the official checklist, and then this office adds another checklist. So anything I'm saying that I needed, you may or may not need. Every office has their own way of doing things. Just whatever they want at your office, they are right. So that's why I usually will try and say what the rules are, what my experience is, and what you experience may be completely different. Welcome to the Philippines. You can download this stuff off the internet, but anytime I've done it and I print it and I take it in, they tell me it's the wrong form, they give me their form. And I've looked at them side by side. They are identical. You look at the code number, they are identical forms. But theirs is old. It's a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Mine is fresh and brand new and clean, and they don't recognize it. Don't argue with them. They say it's the wrong one. It's the wrong one. Just fill it out again. So I quit doing that. I just go to them. I pick up the forms. Then it's the right form. But you can look online to see what you need anyway. It's a very straightforward process. The first checklist shows I need the application form that they give, the original ACR card to be surrendered. Again, that's different on a tourist. They don't use don't surrender the card. And then it says photocopy of, and it's your basic passport stuff, your bio page, visa implementation, uh, latest admission, all that stuff. And then they add in on our office, three copies of each for all that passport stuff. Then it also says you need a photocopy of the board of commissioners letter of approval. And what that is, is when you apply for your 13A, when it's approved, you get a letter that says it's approved. And then they put the stamp in your passport. They want a Xerox of that letter. 
Hopefully, it's in your safe with all your other paperwork. Now, this office always has a second checklist. Your office may or may not, and if it has one, it may not be the same as mine. Three long white folders with clasp. Uh, because of all the three copies of the passport, it sounds like we're going to build three packages, right? It says photocopy of the ACR front and back, three copies. I'm starting to sense a pattern here. Two by two pictures. Two. Why two? Why not three? I don't know. Turns out one of the folders is my copy. Apparently, the two pictures go in theirs. I don't need one in mine because I know what I look like. I don't know. They wanted two. One time I did this because I've done six of them. One time I had to have five copies of the picture. I really don't know why. But it said two, two by two pictures, so I provide it. When I got the card, they didn't use the picture. When you turn everything in, they take your picture with the computer. That's the picture they used. Other people told me they use the passport photo that's on file because they have your passport photo. Every office is different. Whatever they want, you give it to them. They want copies. They want pictures. I give them copies. I give them pictures. Just play the game. It's not that complicated. So I got all my, I went, got all my copies one day. That's super easy. You go in, and if it's a copy store next to or near immigration, they already know what to do. If you go out farther away, you have to tell them which pages. But if there's like right next to immigration of the copy store, they know what pages of your passport need to be copied anyway. Because of COVID, our office requires appointments. Then later they said, if you have your vaccinations, you don't need an appointment. You can come in. So when I picked this up, they said, for the ACR card, you need an appointment. I was like, okay. So they gave me an appointment. I, that gave me a week to do all this. I made all my copies, got it ready, went in for the appointment right on time, get there a little early. You don't, because of COVID, you don't even I, go inside. I gave all my stuff to the security guard. He takes it inside, brings it back out, shows me what I need to sign, and takes my money. He goes back inside, comes back out, gives my change. I'm, that's some COVID stuff they're doing. Your office may or may not do that. I only had one small problem, and I was, I was trying to be nice about it, but the lady got mad because she has no sense of humor. She comes out with the copy, the folder, and says, because you didn't make a copy, make any copies of your application form, she has the folder that's mine because your copy of this doesn't have the application form copy. And I said, you know, I thought it was odd you didn't ask for a copy. She goes, yeah, we did. We want three copies of it. And like instantly was mad at me. And I was like, so I just jokingly, I pointed because she had the paper right there. I pointed at the paper and I said, see here? Photocopy of all this, three copies, that's down here with the passport. Up here where it says form, it doesn't say copies. But if you want copies, I can make copies. Because No, it's fine. We made a copy for our records, but you don't get a copy. And I'm like, okay, I don't need a copy. She got real snippy real quick. Um, it doesn't seem to be a fun place to work anymore. I've always said Elo Elo was such a good immigration office. Back when they were at Customs House, wonderful. You went in, everybody knew each other, great service, really cool guys working there. And then, and I'm not making any accusations, but it just happened to be exactly six years ago. Just as a time reference, it was right when they changed presidents and they got their pay cut. Service went to crap. They got their pay back, but things never really got better. It just stayed bad. They always, everyone in there is always grumpy now. I don't understand it. But because of COVID, we can't go in anyway. So we just deal with the security guards. Hopefully things will improve soon. You never know. I only go in once a year for my annual report. And then once every five years for my ACR. 
So I don't deal with immigration very much anymore. So it's not really a problem for me, but the process for the ACR renewal, extremely easy. If it's part of your tourist visa extensions, it's all going to be handled together. If it's part of your 13A, it's a standalone, just ACR. It's not, I don't have anything else to do. Like I'm not extending visa or any of that. It's very straightforward. Your standard copies of everything. There's application form. It's a different application form. They have a couple forms that are kind of one size fits most. It all went very smoothly. It came back shockingly fast. I was at the mall today, just hanging out because I was bored at the house. Uh, actually, was at Pizza Hut. We say they speak English, but I think they speak it differently. I was at Pizza Hut having a much more complicated time ordering pizza than it should be if you point at a picture. That's what I want. No changes. I'm point. I, this is what I want, and it's not what I got. They speak English differently. Just finishing up my pizza. My watch vibrates and it says that it's immigration and my ACR card has arrived. I was shocked. I didn't think it would be here that soon. I happened to be at the right mall. So I just ran across the street, went upstairs, and she's like, I just texted you five minutes ago. Actually, it was three minutes ago. Yes. And so I got my card. Um, they were surprised I was there so quickly. When they gave me my card, they did say that when I come back from my annual report next year, I will need an appointment. I'm like, okay. And that's like six months away. Uh, I'm not going to worry about six months away because the rules may change by then anyway. But that was an odd thing. They're like, when you come back, you'll need an appointment. Okay. No worries. When we got my card, I'm back. It was weird giving them my, because it's my ID. My main ID is my ACR. I have a driver's license too, but people get confused by that. This one they like because it looks more official. I don't know. They like this one because it's immigration. And I had to give it to them and it went away and I didn't get to see it again. So I walked around. I thought it was going to be three months and here it is barely a month. And I got my new card, the ACR card. Very simple, and it was about 2,500 pesos, thereabouts. 13A, bit more complicated, and it's 11,000 pesos. And if you want to see how to get that, you can click here to see my 13A experience. Enjoy your day in paradise.